Hello. So yeah, I ignored the mess in the back. I'm in the process of moving still. So basically, um, I've been uploading some YouTube videos about the teardowns, reviews, and some review video for the new products I buy. And I find out that my internet is ridiculously slow. So my solution is to buy a better router because this HD camera is uh, produced two to ten gigabytes for video. So I, I think I'm gonna I need to scale down the resolution a bit. But anyway, so today's review is gonna be uh, Night Gears router, model number N nine hundred wireless dual band gigabyte router R four five zero zero. Uh, basically, I got this router because I heard good reviews about it, and it's supposed to have um, it's supposed to have wider range, and it also support um, I think it supports a USB plug. It has a USB plug. See, like on the box over here when you see it in the store, it supports USB box and uh, sorry USB cable, and you can connect this USB cable to uh, external hard drives. Or if you have a USB uh, storage hard drive hub, you can just simply connect to the USB drive, drive, hard drive to the router, and then it will start to stream, or it's, it will act like a personal cloud, I guess, inside your home network. Okay, so this is pretty much going to be a open box video for this uh, Netgear router, and I'm gonna upload my installation process later after I set everything up. Okay, so let's open it. Mm, I guess there's no easier way to cut this. I'm gonna cut from the side. Make a hole and peel off the plastic. Um, sorry about how long this video might end up to be. I um, it's not like I don't know how to do video editing. It's just I don't know how to do it efficiently in a timely manner without wasting too much time at it. So what? I, so what I'm gonna end up doing is probably just gonna keep all the footage without actually doing any kind of editing. Since, like I said, my time is so slow. I barely can uh, upload the video as it is not a long editing at first. Mm, that's what this comes in. So basically, um, I still basically a lot. Hmm, I need to fix that. So what you see here is a Nag Gear N900 wireless dual band router manual. I probably will have to read this when I set it up, but I'm not gonna read it now. You guys could. Okay. And this is the router. Let's put it aside for now and then see what else is in there. Uh, this is the charger. In case you lost yours, this you need to find... This is the specs of the charger. Or actually the AC adapter. Not charger, because it's not a laptop. Duh. Uh, it's 12 volt and 5 ampere. It's relatively common. So, just in case you lose that, uh, lose this, that's the specs for it. And you got the, whoa, this is interesting. It's an Ethernet cable and it has metal grounding. So it's fancy internet Ethernet cable. And this is the regular 3 pong uh, grounded AC plug that goes into the, the AC adapter. So. You get this from almost every electronics or computer that you buy. And okay. Oh. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Here we go. Okay. Now, this is a Netgear uh, anti. I guess it's an anti. Uh, Oh crap, see? It, it prevents people from opening it without destroying the sticker. So it's like an anti uh, tempering? Anti tempering sticker? It's, it's, the only way to open this is to destroy a sticker. Or you're being very careful not to destroy a sticker. 
this this way they know that you open the product or it was brand new or somebody tampered with it. Mm. Okay, so those are the network key and the wireless NAND is right here with the barcode. I'm gonna hide mine so you don't I don't know what you gotta do with it, but if you have mine then just weird. It's floating on the internet. I don't want my security code to be floating on the internet. I'll probably will change it anyway. But, you know, I don't want a default one to be floating in the internet. And it looks pretty nice. As far as I can see, I mean, it's, it's pretty big. It's a lot bigger than what I expected. Like, my hand is here, and this is how big the router is. It's, it barely fits in the screen, does it? Yep, pretty big. First impression. Um, okay, so this is the specs. Let me just get the wrappers off so you can see it better. Ah, dang it. I love the new plastic smell, even though it's probably carcinogen. Bad for your health. Let's get all the plastic out. There's one more plastic on, on top of the unit. So I, I don't like these plastic, even though it's supposed to like um, block in the dust and preserve your shiny router. My, my philosophy is that if you pay money for it, you, why don't you use it? Life is short. Don't, don't keep the wrapper on. Okay, so... This is pretty much what's from the box. You have the on and off button over here. And you have the DC port connector. You have the reset button that you requires a pin or like a, It requires some kind of pin that you, you stick it in and hold it for reset. It's pretty standard. You have the import for internet. Uh, you could, you could, so this hook up to your router or um, your internet provider. Modem? It, it hook up to the modem, sorry. Not the router. This this is hook up from the router to the modem and the modem would, would send uh internet signal to the router. Or if you have Verizon, you just hook up to the white box. I don't know what they call it that, but it's not really a modem. If you have BIOS, it hook up to a white box. But more more on that later. Um I'm somewhat disappointed. For a hundred dollars to hundred fifty dollars I expect more uh, internet port than four. I don't know why there's only four of them. So that's that's the. Um, I guess it must have really good Wi-Fi then to justify I only get four internet port from this router. And it has two USB plugs. Uh, like I said before, this USB plug can be plugged directly to your printer and make the printer wireless. And it can be hooked up to your external hard drive and make your external hard drive wireless within your home network or office network if you set this up in the office and you'll, you'll get the personal cloud storage it's pretty much you have a home server or entertainment server you can just stream videos and files directly from it okay so the the this is how it just says netgear on it there's nothing special here um, this it's the ventilating port on the top, and this is a uh, acrylic casing. Um, I don't think it's glued on, but it's definitely definitely a part of the case from the back. So it's not. I don't think it's easily removed. Obviously, knowing me um, in this channel, I'm going to have to open these screws and see what's inside. I already can see what, like, uh, so so the mo the motherboard or the circuit board, actually, is, I'm going to stop using the, the term logic board and motherboard because it's really just a circuit board. Okay, so this, the PCP circuit board is on this side. It's facing this way. And this side is just a case. If I unscrew these screws, I think I can just lift the case up here this way. That's what I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a tear down later. Um, so so far now this is just oh, I mean hide the, you know hide my hide my secret code, default password for my router. And that's it has five li um, four lens. This is what's in the back of the box um, router. Back up the router. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I can imagine that's gonna. I'm gonna plug in and see what color it comes out. It's probably blue. Knowing that here. 
though it may surprise you. And that will be pretty much the review for now until I tear this thing into little pieces. I'm not gonna tear it into little pieces, I'm just gonna open the case and show you the circuit board that's inside. But let's have some lunch first. Let's enjoy some lunch as you want to put it for. Press on. Why is it on? Am I doing something wrong? I think I just plug it into the only port that doesn't work on my outlet. Okay, it doesn't sync. Alright, oh, yeah, so this, this light. There's a blinking orange line. Mm, not very impressive. It doesn't seem to have any blue. I, I thought this, this casing is gonna light out in blue, you know, like a computer case, but that didn't happen. So it's just it's just a blinking orange light over here. Yeah, green, green lights, orange light. Alright, so if you want more information, you probably want to read the menu. Um, this this is dual band. It has 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz channel. It has two channels, and that's as far as I know about this router. All I know is it works great, and I know people who has this, and it works great for them. Um, for two floors. And it's it's a nice router, and I'll, I'll I'll do more review once I hook this up and see how it improves my internet speed and YouTube upload speed. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna do the tear down in mo in momentarily. Bye bye now. Bye. Hello. Hello, welcome back. Oh, I look weird. So I found my screwdriver, and now we're gonna continue with the well tear down. Let's just, let's just oh, crack this open and see what's inside of this neck gear router. A like, brand new neck gear router I'm going to use to replace my existing Lexus router. And before I go, you know, hook up the router, uh, let's open it up and appreciate. It. The circuit board it has inside. Okay, so it uses torch screws. It's like a six pins torch screws head. That's what's used on this router. Mm, I have mixed feeling about torch screw. I like it a lot better than. Oh, so I taped like a magnet onto my screwdriver, so it sucks the screws up easy. I have mixed feeling about torch screws. It's in my opinion, what I think is that it's a lot better than Phillips screw because you know how Phillips screws can easily be destroyed and worn out if you use the wrong size of a screwdriver or it's just too rough on it. And over time when you take it out, take it off, take it on, take it out, take it on, take it off, the screws always get destroyed. Or the screwdriver gets destroyed, whichever. But tool screws never happen. I mean I never had a problem with tool screw being destroyed due to uh, me being too rough or having the wrong size because that's you, you can only have the right size. If they fit, it works. There's no too big or too small problem with the tool screws. For that reason, I, I don't know. I think I think the only reason that people don't like tool screws is because the screwdriver is not readily available and it has like a gazillion amount of different uh, size of the head for tool screws. But other than that, it's, I think it's an improvement from Philips. I mean, I, I'm kind of glad that more and more electronics uh, gadgets is made with tool screws instead of Philips screws. Alright, this one's not coming up. Ah, that's fine. It doesn't really come up. Okay, so even even before I pry or do anything, the case is already slightly bit, like open due to the I took out all the screws. And sometimes they hide screws somewhere, so I'm gonna feel this under the sticker usually. I'm gonna feel the sticker and feel like there's a hole somewhere that's hiding the screws. It doesn't seem to be the case in here. So I think I can just easily Alright, so what happened is can you see it? Like I can pry this open like this, so there's a piece of like uh acrylic 
on top of the panel. So what you want to do is use a knife or credit card and pry this up from the buttons. This is like holding the button down. That's it. All the click, rest of the click comes up pretty easy. And this was the screw that got stuck in there. And so you see on the top, there's two click mechanisms. They don't really hold the router in. And there's two on the button. No uh, plastic click clip on the other side. And there's six screws holding this router in. And these are the lights, I guess. The, it it transmits light. If you have your LED light shine here, it comes out here and makes it shiny. Uh, so what was holding the router back and the clip is really just this piece that I was talking about and the button was like sticking out like this. So what you want to do is like just lift it out and slide the button through. And you get this piece off. Okay, so this is from the back side of the router circuit board. I can get the box out of my way so I don't get in my way. Uh, I don't know. What's this? I don't think I'm gonna open these metal shells because well, they, they solder on so I, I don't feel like desoldering them just to see what's inside the shell. And yeah, you can see see some of these white residues. Don't be alarmed. This is brand new. It's not water damaged. This this happens when they do reflow on like a ooh. I don't think they did a very really good job on reflow. I had like solder bowl. This hanging over there. But sometimes you get some flux residues when they do like large ball reflow through the old reflow off and then you end up like white residue through the flux. They can they can be cosmetically they they scary. I mean they're white flux uh powders on your logic board. On your on your circuit board. It's never a good thing to look I never a good feeling seeing it. And I'm gonna flip it over if I can. Just take this off. Okay, so you know, sticker, uh, insulating cloth, or just hiding what's these. It, sec it secures these uh, cables down here. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna. Oh, I need to be careful because I want to remember which color goes to where. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture now, and hopefully, I can use it for my reference later. Blue, gray, black. Okay, I think I got it. So black, gray, blue. Okay, to future me, this is how it goes. In case I don't remember myself. Or to whoever does this and forget. And black, okay. So, you lift them up pretty straightforward. Mm. Okay, it, it slides right out actually. This panel, this plastic panel, slides out like this way. And also slide back in. But I'm gonna just do it for now. It's um interesting the logic board. Oh there's more more cables over here. So take the sticker out. And blue black ah I'm gonna forget. Okay, so see. See camera. See YouTube. See YouTube people. Remember this for me. It's blue, black, grey. It's not the same order before. It was black, grey, blue, I remember. So, kind of confusing. Yeah, I don't want to mix these up. Ah, what is this? It's already in weird places. Oh. Okay, so I'm get this off again. I'll put it back later. And, oh, so the circuit, you know, circuit board start gets separated. And this is what you have in the Nagear N900 model. Uh, this is what the circuit board looks like. Mm, it's a bunch of coils, 100, co 100 um, micro, no, it's 100, yeah, 100 micro farad, uh, what is a coil, I forgot. Oh, whatever, 100 inductance, brain freeze. 100 inductance, uh, coils and two R2 coils and you have two electrolytic capacitors. I don't really like these because they, they break, they're cheap. I like the solid state capacitor over here, like these kind of better. Um, they just, they, they're safer, they don't explode. 
and these two, so I don't know about these. But they look they look fine, like from since this is brand new, so they better look fine. It it looks brand new as well on the on the circuit board, so they didn't stress it through stress test or anything. And there's a power switch over here. Mm, power button. So yeah, um that's that's pretty much it. And you have all the uh, integrated capacitor, uh, integrated chips and integrated circuit boards underneath this giant metal heatsink, which I like. Uh, this is probably one of the better routers because, well, for, for one thing, I pay a lot of money for it. It's like 150 retail price. Um, so they they designed it pretty well. They had the heatsink, and there's not a lot of a lot of parts on it, as you can see. It's not a lot of anything on it really is like for surface, surface mount uh, circuit board this is pretty much nothing on it these all these stuff little little um, little squares over here all these ones these are LEDs that it shows the signal lights other than that it's just really few capacitor here and there like um, ceramic capacitor some some dials and ICs chips and IC chips in here for the Wi-Fi. Mm, that's pretty much it. It's not much to it. It's very elegant design. See what happens is in newer generation technology like now, they all come <laughs> with nothing on it. It's just a huge circuit board of unpopulated areas. Everything like all these old generation kind of technology, this giant capacitor and stuff, it's all in became integrated chips underneath these heat sinks. And I guess the problem with being using integrated um, chips is that it makes heat because everything is packing in such a tight space. If that makes sense, that's how I would rationalize it. Okay, so these are the. Uh, lantanas. They're pretty small actually. I don't know if I can... I wonder if I can upgrade it or modify it a little bit. I don't know. I would like to, to make my router better in range. But they, they're pretty small and simple. Let me, let me take one now. I think... Okay, so what happened is I think these three... I, I guess it doesn't matter what color it is. They all look the same to me. They all look the same. They're identical except the color of the cable. Okay, one of these are three the the, the two point four uh, gigahertz f signaling. So this square is probably it, and the five gigahertz is probably oh sorry, these these are two point four because it actually says two point four on it. I'm not gonna read it. Let's see two point four, and these are it didn't say anything. So I'm, I can only guess this is the five gigahertz antenna. Okay, I wonder if I push it. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so that's pretty interesting. So this is 2.4 gigahertz antenna, the three of them, and the 5 gigahertz antenna, three of them. And you have to, that's pretty much it. And the rest of it is just plastic. Very, very simple, simple looking and elegantly designed circuit board or router. It's very, let's look, look at it, there's nothing on it. It's all very small capacitors and I see one or, he, one or there, uh, one or two over there. And really small antenna, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out the performance. But there is three of them. So that will at least make the network stable. Alright, so let me put it back. Cause Oh, what else am I gonna do with this? There's not much to going on with. And let's put it on the right side. I think the best way to do it is probably take this out first and put put this phone face in and slide it downward. If you can get the connectors out first, or you could always fish it and get whatever hair. See, the place I live has dog, so sometimes I get dog hair in random places. It's annoying. I'm so glad I'm moving. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is... 
and put the uh, antennas back to the circuit board gently. I don't want to break this connector because I don't have a replacement for it even though if I can easily solder it back. But without a proper one to replace, I stuck. Mm, I haven't even tried this router yet. <laughs> it took him for it. Okay. Yeah, if this turns out to be an awesome router, it would be even harder for me to take it apart later. Because I'll feel like, oh, what if it becomes slow? I'll feel like this. Uh, it's fine. I already did it. <laughs> no regrets. Too late for regrets. Alright, so let's make sure all the cables are in. And that's it. One, two, three, one, two, three. Six antenna, one simple, elegantly designed circuit board. And this is, alright, so this is our review for the Netgear N900 router. And let me try to block my code and click it back. So I, when you do this, you want to make sure the upper plastics, oh shit, I don't want to block it and break anything. They're kind of fragile. Upper switch is aligned and the lower switch is aligned. Then face that side, this, this side. Put putting this side first, and then hmm. can do this. Do, do, do. Uh, this might take me a while because I don't want to damage or anything. Mm. And I think I just press it down from this side. Yeah, it clicks in. See that? Or maybe, yeah, that's it. Mm. Surprisingly simple. Oh, that can't be it. How is it? It just really just pop it in. It's not much to it. Again, it's the only just these two buttons are uh, holding it, holding in. These two uh, switch, I don't. It, it it actually doesn't do anything. This they are they're dangling in air right now, so. It's not locked onto anything. It's just this part and here in the back. And okay, now just put the oh shit! I forgot to put these back to the cable. That's okay. Uh, I'll no, eh, I'll I'll open it again. It's fine. It's not that bad. It's not like these are needed or anything. It's just there to secure the cable. But I don't. I mean, why generate garbage when you can just put it back? Right. Yeah, I don't like garbage. So, goodbye. Goodbye. Securing cables. Serve your purpose. Like retaining cloth. I think it's heat, it's just heat resistant, and plus it's insulating. Oh. Oh well. Okay, now I'm experienced, I know what I'm doing. I can do this. I can do this easy. I hope. Ah, what have I done? I have done nothing. That's alright then. Alright, so you put the back in first and make it aligned. Then you just go to the phone, you see this, and just press it down, and you click. That's it. It's back again. Ah, 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 it's not holding, it's not falling off of it. So it's clicked. And just in case, I'm gonna put all the screws back because otherwise I end up with like six screws lying around. This is absolutely nothing for me. That's it. This is the end of the review for an uh, Netgear N900 series wireless dual pin gigabits router. Uh, oh, this model is R4500. So, 
are 4,500 crowded. Mm. Yep. Let me cover my password. I don't want people to hack into my computer. And now you know where I live. Oh. Okay. So that's the end of the review. My next video for this from this router will be um setting it up. I'm gonna try to either record it or take uh do a screenshot. I think it's gonna record it. Why, why do you show me so much problem? So much trouble to set it up. I have a nice camera, I should just use it. Okay, so that's it. This is the Nike Gear uh, R4500 and 900 series router. I hope you enjoyed taking it apart and see what the inside uh, circuitry and Wi Fi uh, Wi-Fi antenna connectors. All six of them from this router. Thank you for watching. And this is a good router. I haven't used it my, personally myself, but I, I have used it in other people's home. And it worked great. It's, it's a very, very elegantly designed router, as you can see from in the inside. With those fancy heat sinks that protecting all the parts from overheat. Okay. Um, why is it doing that? Oh, hi. Thank you for watching.